What's shaking everybody? It's your boy King of the Golden State here coming at you with a Wednesday pile video. And right now it's a little late for me to do this, but I figure why the hell not. And I got a pile of books, but I want to show all of them like I usually do. Well, actually I don't do that at all, but I don't want to bore you guys to sleep with a whole stack of stuff. But I got some stuff and pretty much I like to think of it as the best of the week, you know, in my opinion. So let's get started guys and get you on your way. Starting with this book here, which is actually a graphic novel, and in I I really don't have much of a draw to this. Uh, it's a book called Habitat. It's by Image Comics. Um, it's it's originally a graphic novel. That's it. So it's not a collection from like a bunch of stack of issues. But you know, I asked my uh, I asked the owner of the local com my local comic shop about this book and. He said, no, it just came out. Just flat out, just came out on its own. So, I like the cover. You know, I don't know what, I don't know what it's about, but it looks like it's got some futuristic stuff. And it's by the author Simon Roy. And the cool thing that really got me about this, really, I'll kid you not, well, a few things. You know, I mean, like, uh, Warren Ellis, I guess, gave this thing, gave this book a, his blessing, or his writer his blessing on this, you know, the usual thing about hey you know this person did a great job but this is what got me $9.99 price tag graphic novel $9.99 price tag you got books thinner than this that are like uh yeah you got books thinner than this like say Deadpool Merc, Merc with a Mouth whatever you know for like $9.99 is a comic book so that makes no sense to me so I'm a Probably have to find some time and see if I can read this and see what this is all about. It's like I said, it's a cool cover. Hopefully, it's worth more than the nine ninety nine I'm talking about. So, got that. This you got Outcast. You can't like you know almost so much. You can almost say it's some of the usual suspects. I'm probably gonna post up for you guys, but um, Outcast. Like I said, if you guys haven't read this title, it's a really good title. Uh, every issue just gets crazier and crazier, man. Um, I'm really big on it. So, got that going. I also got, uh, I guess, you know, with Doctor Strange premiere coming around the corner, they're getting to that point where they're starting to advertise Doctor Strange stuff left, left and right. So, I got uh, Doctor Strange Source of Supreme here. I also got Doctor Strange Mystic Apprentice, and I think that one's like a, like a, I think this one's like a, um, one shot. So, I think it is, I'm not sure, but Doctor Strange is all over the place, so you got the Doctor Strange, uh, the, the one ahead of me here, this was the variant cover, and this one here is the original cover for Doctor Strange Mystic Apprentice, but you also have now Doctor Strange and the Sorcerer Supreme, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess ever since the movie is about to, you know, hit the ground running, they might as well just do a whole bunch of Doctor Strange titles that will eventually get canceled somewhere in the future. So, yeah, man. Um, I'm going to read it. I'm going to give it a shot. I'll see where it goes. You know, I mean, I, I like the original Doctor Strange series right now, but, yeah. We'll see where we go from there. I'm not going to sweat this one. I just find it laughable that they're, they're putting suddenly putting Doctor Strange stuff out. Now, when they never put Doctor Strange out, if they put a gun to their head. But anyway, I picked this one up, Prowler, and also the Prowler Hip Hop variant, you know. And uh, I don't know too much about Prowler, except for the fact that he was in Spider-Man. He had a whole thing to do with it, and then it's like, uh, yeah, now they, Prowler's got his own series, which is kind of like weird. I just not, I just don't, I mean, when I saw this ad for Prowler and the... Um, previews magazine or what have you or i just i was like you know what prowler is not a character that everyone follows so i i would hope for big things out of this first issue to be honest with you so um because prowler could get canceled really quick i don't care what anybody says i think probably could get canceled really quick this comic needs to have content and i hope it does so you know hopefully it's just worth picking up so i'm just you know, my only concern is, does it have content to stay around for at least a year? You know, so, we'll see. We will see. 
also picked this one up because you can't get enough of this. Skyborn number two. Uh, yeah, man. I love Frank Cho's work. That guy is really good at what he does. The fact that he's no longer a Wonder Woman cracks me up. It's like, it's, uh, Greg Rucker. What the fuck are you thinking, dude? Seriously. You know, um, I love, I love, uh, I love what I've seen here from Skyborn. I mean, you know, Skyborn is a, uh, so far, after reading one issue, it's a really good book. So, got that. Also picked up Punisher Annual number one, and that is um, it doesn't have Steve Dillon in there. In case you guys have no, did or aren't in the know here, but Steve Dillon passed away earlier. I, I believe it was earlier or mid last week, and he was a regular artist for uh, the Punisher series. Uh, nothing he did on this one, but I just felt like you know segueing out of one end, and uh, yeah, it kind of sucks. You know, what I mean. I'm not sure what what Steve Dillon died of. If any of you guys know, um, no bullshit. See if you can post in the comments as far as like maybe you guys knew, heard what he passed away from. Because 54 years old is a young age, man. I'm I'm 38. I'm not trying to say I'm going to die soon, but um, not and also not to get personal. My mom, you know, she passed away from cancer in her mid 40s, but it's just you know one of those things where you're like, what the hell, you know? It's kind of sucks seeing people just just die off, especially Steve Dillon, who's probably, in my opinion, probably one of the best storytellers in comic books. I mean, go look, and if you don't believe me, go look at, go look at, uh, early Punishers that he's done. Go look at, uh, um, Preacher series. I mean, that should tell you that he's a very good storyteller. So, um, yeah, real heartbreaking, really, real heartbreaking. So got that. Also, uh, got the Action Comics number 966, and you got the variant, and you also got the regular cover, I think, uh, but, yeah, I like the covers, they're really cool covers, especially when you got Gary Frank doing some of these covers, Gary Frank is such an underrated artist, the guy just, he just gets better and better as an artist, he's insane, so, you know, I just love those covers, you know, and Hopefully we get a lot more good content from uh, from the uh, whole Superman camp. So, you know, got that going. Got also got another rebirth thing going on with the Wonder Woman variant and a regular cover here on the right. And you know, I'm I'm digging these covers here by uh, I believe it's Jenny Fri Friesen. You know who does covers? I like them, but I still feel like there's something missing. And that person is Frank Cho. It's still good, don't get me wrong. I just feel like, you know, I was forced to, I feel like I was forced to date somebody else, and, you know, I'm still thinking about the person I used to date, you know? So, uh, I like, I like the covers, don't get me wrong, I just still think it's not Frank Cho. And, what a bummer, you know? That's all I gotta say, but, got that, and, uh, also picked up another Rebirth, I got a bunch of Rebirth stuff, I don't wanna go you know, drive you guys insane with it, but Batman Beyond number one picked up. I, it looks this is a Ryan Sook cover, if I recall, but it looks so much like a Neil Adams cover. I mean, I could, you know, what? let's find out, guys. I, I, sometimes I don't even bother opening my books until I'm ready to read them. But uh, let's see here. Okay, that would be. Uh, Jurgens, Chang. Yeah, it doesn't really say. I, um, I, it looks a lot like a cover by Ryan Sook. It's probably a cover by Ryan Sook, but it looks so much like, you know, it just looks so much like uh, a little like Neil Adams. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. If you guys have this cover and you guys saw something that I didn't, let me know in the description box or in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, it, it's a really cool cover. It might be my cover of the week. You know, I don't dub things covers of the week, but this is probably one of my favorite covers I've seen this week. Let's put it like that. So, and he falls flat. So, got that. And, uh, 
yeah guys, I think that's almost it. I mean, I got this Hellblazer number three. Uh, the variant is done by John Cassidy. Uh, I like it. You know, uh, I, I like the Hellblazer series. I gotta pick up the old one from Vertigo, but, you know, looks good. You know, uh, Cassidy probably is better off doing covers instead of comic books stories because, you know, normally can't get things out on time. And also, uh, Civil War number, uh, Civil War 2, number 6, uh, this cover really grabs me right now with the, uh, you know, Spider -Man, with Miles Morales, Spider-Man beating up on, uh, on, uh, the newly reformed Captain America, I guess you could say. And it's a really cool cover, especially when you got Miles Morales about to stab Captain America with his own shield, which is kind of crazy, but... Yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, I don't want to go too far. Um, I got to stack more stuff, but like I said, I don't want to bore you to death. Um, tell me what you guys picked up from the comic shop this week. And uh, yeah, and, you know, if you like the video, give that a uh, thumbs up down there. And, you know, the whole thumbs up deal, you know, down there on the video. Also, you know, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. That'd be awesome. All right, guys, I'm going to go pass out. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.